Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back. And all of you new, hello and welcome. I have Oscar here with me today. And it's been a couple weeks since I've done a drink and wet feeding video for you all with Oscar. So I am going to do that today while we chat. So as I'm getting started, for those of you new, this is Oscar, and he is a full-bodied silicone baby. So he is completely in a one-piece pour, which means he doesn't have a ball joint neck. He has, he's like all attached and he's got like the wrinkly skin and his head that turns and all that good stuff. And he also obviously has a drink and wet system, um, which is fun. I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy making the drink and wet videos. Um, it's fun. It's something that I always, before I had a full-bodied silicone doll or um, a full-bodied silicone with a drink of wet, I really enjoyed watching other collectors' videos where they would do a bottle feeding or a drink and wet bottle feeding. So that was always so, like, they're kind of my favorite videos to make because it's just relaxing while chatting with you all kind of quote feeding the baby <laughs> and they're my favorite to watch so oscar are you gonna take this <laughs> there we go all right so this is filled with just um just water, just warm uh, distilled water. I put a little bit of alcohol in there. Don't know how much, I don't measure it. Um, but that's what I do as a collector just to, you know, keep the drink and wet system from, you know, growing any mold, hopefully, and anything like that. I've never had a problem um, with the drink and wet um, on Oscar or any other all that I've had <laughs> so anyways I thought I would chat with you all today about the online reborn doll community um, I've gotten a question from time to time on my YouTube videos how do you come become a part of the reborn doll community or online community and the answer is, you you know, there's no, like, specifications. Um, if you're here, you're a part of it. Um, you don't have to have a doll or a specific kind of doll. You just have to be here and, and you know, enjoy dolls and collecting dolls. Really any kind of dolls. Um, there's definitely other online communities I know like there's like a BJD community for like the BJD dolls and Blythe dolls um but and I guess this would be considered more of the reborn doll community or lifelike doll community but really the the hobby the hobbies intertwine it's all doll collecting um, so I think it's all basically, you know, one big community, um, in that respect. And it can be an expensive hobby. That's a question and, and something that, you know, is talked about, especially when we start talking about, you know, um, buying silicone dolls and of course the, the price jump from reborns uh to silicones depending on you know what um kind of reborns you're buying um you know it for a lot of us it's a big it's a big huge like whoa price jump but 
you know, you don't, you know, so yes, it can be a very expensive hobby, but it's really just like any hobby. You know, we all have different, um, places we are financially or that we can spend or what we're willing to spend. We all have different amounts of time, um, to spend uh to put into a hobby so you know we're all different you could come into this hobby and i remember like say you want to do a youtube channel um i remember and those of you that have been here a few years you'll you'll remember um the the woman that was here for a while um v from reborn baby odyssey i remember her and she was a lot of fun her channel was a lot of fun and she started out with this little baby doll that she had from i don't know if she had it from birth i think maybe from birth but from her childhood and she had custom ordered a reborn doll and it took like I don't know, nine months, something like that, a quite a long time um, before the doll would even be ready. But she did her whole channel just getting ready for that baby and sharing the baby doll that she had that was just a doll, like I said, just a baby doll that she had from her childhood. And she made videos and, you know, partook and told us stories and all about the baby doll she had and she you know got some clothes for it and just you know was a lot of fun so you know you really don't have to you know it's spend a whole lot of money it's just wherever you're at what your comfort zone is and you know what you're you can or willing to spend um and then, of course, the obvious thing, you know, many of us talk about from time to time is the drama and the things that go on within this community. And, you know, at a certain time, I think I've even said myself, like, you know, this this community has like gone downhill or there's just like a lot of unpleasantness here etc etc and you know you live and you learn and that was you know really just me looking at things um too close up because uh it really is all about i mean it's online you know it's it's not like a you've moved into a physical neighborhood here <laughs> you know it's all you know this is this is really based online i mean people do meetups and get together and stuff like that but you know i'm talking about the online doll hobby and doll uh community or youtube community um and you will discover that it's all about who you surround yourself with and you know what what you spend your time watching and doing because it really is a click away from you know whatever you want it to be and whoever you surround yourself with so um, you know, just because it's a hobby, just because it's a doll hobby, and there are a ton of really, really, really nice people here, it's still the open internet. It's still worldwide. Um, I've said many times there are no golden gates when you're coming into the community or anyone that, um, you know, checks out people's references to make sure that they're you know kind people or not us uh, you know there's you know all the scams that go on stuff like that like there's really no one or nothing to stop you know anybody or anything from entering into this online community so you have to use your judgment just like you do anywhere else in life 
um, and, you know, just judge, you know, or look at individual, you know, people here and your own experiences with them and things like that. You have to, you have to do that. You can't just assume that everyone is safe and, and, uh, nice and stuff like that. So, but, and as you're here, you'll, you'll learn. And I mean, for me now, um, for quite some time, um, it's like it really was in the beginning for me, except really tenfold because, you know, I've, you know, been here several years now and I know so many wonderful people and I've, um, created, you know, um, close f friendships that go well outside of, you know, just the doll hobby and doll collecting. And it's just a great joy. And it's, there's something new and exciting every day because we're, you know, sharing things together uh, with, you know, the people that we want to be surrounded by. Um, you're not really forced to be surrounded by anyone that you don't want to be because again, it is social media. Um, you have the means and the ability to, uh, you know, delete, block, you know, I, I highly recommend that if, uh, people make you uncomfortable or say inappropriate things or, you know, whatever, it's just not making you happy to be around them. You know, you, you have that ability. Um, and that's about it, folks. It's just, you know, just an online community and people get as, you can be as little involved or a lot involved as you want to be, you know. Um, you can make a YouTube channel, a Facebook account, Instagram account, you know, any of your social media accounts. You can, you know, make a, a dolly, a hobby account. Oh, Oscar's taking quite a bit. Let's see if he wants a little more here. Um, or you can just, you know, uh, be you know, watch and view, you can comment, you cannot comment, you know, it's, it's all up to you. You are definitely in the driver's seat. I mean, no, of course, you know, like I always say, you can't control what other people say and do, um, that you can't. And when you choose to put yourself up there in in you know on a public platform you know on any social media public platform you of course need to be prepared to that not everybody is gonna like you not everybody is gonna say kind things to you or about you and that's just the way the cookie crumbles that is life we can't please everyone no one ever will you know and you know, sometimes it or often I see the more people that love you you know you're gonna get more people that don't love you you know it's just the way it is but uh and you definitely have to be able to let those things roll off and um ignore and don't waste your time. Don't spend your time, you know, if you know that there's, you know, negative things out there, then it, my advice is to, you know, have that blocked. Um, YouTube has a fabulous, I don't want to say new feature because I think it's been around for quite a bit. Um, it's only, I guess a couple, couple months ago that I became aware of it, or actually I was aware that it was there, but I wasn't quite sure exactly all that it did, which is the hide feature. So if you have a channel, you can use that hide feature instead of the block feature. And the difference is 
which is really, really nice, is when you hide another channel, so say you get, uh, you know, nasty comment that you don't like, whatever, just, you can click on the side of it, I think you gotta do it in the YouTube studio, but you can do it on the mobile, um, so you can do it right on your phone, and, um, where there's the, that, that, like, little three, three bar thing or three dot thing um there'll be the option there to hide channel and if you do that what's nice about it is essentially it's like blocking the channel because they they I think they can still type a comment but it just goes into cyberspace like you don't see it nobody else sees it um <clears throat> I think I don't I, I think I'm pretty sure that's how it works I just know you don't see it and nobody else sees it so it's like the same thing as blocking but what's cool about it is you can't see that channel anywhere else so if they're commenting on on you know anywhere else on YouTube on another channel or taking part in a live stream or whatever you can't see them there you don't have to interact with them you don't even have to see them and you can still see the channel itself but if you went and looked um if the channel has like a community wall you can't see that it actually just tells you that it has no no content that channel has no no content I don't know if the if it shows up, if it says community or it doesn't even show up, but it just says that the channel has no content with regards to that. So that's a really nice thing because, you know, that's something here that people definitely use for, you know, um, purposes other than sharing dolls. You know, sometimes the drama will go on there as well. So if you're this way you're just like not not tempted to look and even if you did you can't see anyway so that's a great thing um to do and then it really allows you to just go on and just truly really forget but <clears throat> anybody that's you know not interacting with you in the right way you don't have to deal with so you can choose to be in this online community and choose drama free like where you don't even have to look at it you really truly can so essentially i, I love that with youtube now that they have that because it's kind of like facebook or instagram like once you block it like a, a like instagram account you can you can't see that account like they can't see you but you can't see them either and that's you know the beauty of the hide whereas block they're blocked from commenting on your channel but you can still see them everywhere else if that makes sense so with that ability you truly truly can you know surround yourself with happy stuff and fun stuff and dolly stuff um i'm wondering you can all tell me in the comments to those of you that have been here but i think it's a pretty large percent of this online community that it truly loves dolls and collecting and just like all that comes along with the dollies you know I really feel like it's just a lot of people. Maybe it's just the people I'm surrounding myself with. But either way, it's just a very, very happy thing. And, you know, it's just so nice to, to be there in that place. And to be with all of you here that I in, really enjoy on a weekly, almost a daily basis here. Um, I really do. I really enjoy it. Right, Oscar? Oscar is going to get changed. He has 
this adorable outfit from, oh, let's see, let me see if I can, from, uh, this is from Auntie Michelle, it's Peter Rabbit, <laughs> so, sorry if it looks a little foggy, the lighting, um, it's like the evening, like the sun is going down, so it's that time of day, so, I have some artificial light on, but that there's also natural light, so it might look not as sharp. It might look a little more faded. So, um, Oscar's got your full tummy. Yeah, she got a full diaper. Yes, you do. So we're gonna change Oscar. I'm thinking maybe I'll do it right here, and then he has adorable. Um, Quincy May um, booties that I thought would go nice, the blue with that. And he has one of his uh, diapers from, I think, was this Auntie, Auntie Lee or Auntie Michelle sent this. I gotta remember which one. Now, Mommy's so bad at that. Mommy's so bad at that. But I know this diaper, I believe, came from, is the print is from, uh, from France. I hope I have that right. <laughs> but it's a size one. Uh, that's why I'm just hanging out with him for a second and I keep lifting him up and down. So folks, if you're new to silicones and drink and wet and you have a silicone baby with a drink and wet for the first time, it is recommended that when you are done feeding baby, yes, it's your food. Um, you want to move them around. You want to sit them upright, up straight, and let everything go down and through, um, before you change them. Um, so this way, you know, if any more leaks out, plus you don't want any, you know, water, um, anything to stay inside in the tubes. Um, I have tons of drinking wet videos up, folks, that I share, like, more about the drinking wet system and stuff, that you can go to those if you have questions, um, more than what I've answered. I do try to answer, um, I do try to answer questions on, um, videos as best as I can, um, but sometimes, you know, the question, the answer is like, would be so long to type, so then I'll just say, you know, look, you can find the answer, like, you know, within these types of videos on my channel, I have to do a little bit of, um, work on, oh, look at the blue, do you, can y'all see, let me show you. See the see the line has turned from yellow to like that bluish green. That's showing that you know the diaper is wet. <laughs> it's one of those diapers, but I always find that so amusing, you know, because it is a doll, you know. So it's just if you were the you know, kind of kid that really loved those drinking wet dolls, you definitely might enjoy having it as an adult. And, um, he is a full body doll, so just advance warning. Um, you may catch a little bit of bits while he's being changed. Um, but he's not a real baby, even if he was. Oh, that's a topic for another time. I, I suppose definitely in this day and age, you know, I probably would not be even changing my baby, you know, public uh, online publicly. But, you know, just it's so sad because years ago, I mean, I remember I changed my kids everywhere. You know, just right in the stroller at the mall and just, you know, wherever because it's a baby. You know, you don't, you don't think of things that way. But, um, I, of course, don't mind sharing, you know, Oscar is, you know, although it's fun and we think of him, like, to pretend and think of him as real. Obviously, we all know he's not. And he is, in fact, an amazing 
work of art and you know beautiful um sculpt that of course many collectors like to see the whole sculpt we'll do a whole one like video talking about um that and the full you know sculpts of silicone dolls and you know um anatomically correct belly plates and just you know anything that would show sculpted bits but this video is already as usual because my videos are normally long but I wanted you all to see Oscar get into this adorable little outfit because it's so cute so yeah to, to any of the, you that are like wondering like where is or what is the you know reborn doll community it's it's really just an online you know community just like anywhere else that you go on youtube and they have like i don't know like that animal you know rescue communities they have that one i've been enjoying watching i share it on my wall sometimes that sbsk special books for special kids like they have a whole they are consider themselves like a whole online they have a whole online community and it's just people that support and partake uh you know in one way or another um who you know are there who regularly comment to just take part it's just a matter of just you know taking part and there's so many ways to take Part. You don't have to have your own, you know, account or publicly share dolls. Um, you don't have to have any specific kind of dolls or, you know, price range of dolls. I mean, are there little niches like within inside the community? Yeah, there's, you know, a little, um, you know, I think like on Facebook, there's like, the silicone doll you know groups there's groups within the community that are for you know if you have um specific dolls of course there is you know it's if they have it right down to you know fans of certain sculpts you know and i don't know i some of them i don't know that you have to it's not like necessarily a requirement that you have the doll just that you are a fan of that you like you know i think that that's what a lot of the groups are and i mean i don't know i don't know all of them that are out there because although in a certain way the this community is like you know word can spread like wildfire <laughs> and things like that but on the other token on the other side of it it's big you know i don't know all the like reborn doll youtube channels that are out there i don't know all the artists i don't know all the sculptors like by any means i'm still i still find like new artists every day new people every day um, and then it's continuing to grow and expand, which is good. I think that's, you know, fantastic. Um, so it really is actually big. And I think that certain generations that are here, because people come in, in waves in, like, generations. And, you know, the people that maybe came in during the same year might kind of follow along and know one another one another you know based on you know when you entered into the online community uh i noticed that you know that people kind of in somewhat of a way group you see groups that have you know in again in somewhat of a way because it's not always the case but it can be and he's got this little I think passy and clip that will look cute with this because the passy is like the that kind of I guess it's like that iron blue color 
This looks so adorable on him. He looks like a proper little man with the collar. See, thank you, Auntie. And we have Peter Rabbits on us, which um, I think this one is, you know, one from the UK. So um, it's not as easy here in the US to, you know, get the Peter Rabbit stuff. I mean, you can, but it's just not as common or easy to get so we love this kind of stuff and he looks just dapper don't you look so sweet he's all clean all dry all fed aren't you you're just content now aren't you oscar is fully content and i love these booties i got four different <laughs> colors in these Quincy May booties because I just love them so much. I wanted them for years and when I finally did it, I'm like, I'm going all out and getting each thing that I want. So that's what I did. But anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing Oscar getting his bottle, getting his drinking wet and getting changed. And that you have if you're new some understanding of what the community is um here and it is it is a community again it's an online community but it's still an online community just like any other online um community you know and some people here get along really really great and some don't care for one another and you know it's just really I guess probably typical to you know pretty much a lot of um online communities because you really really have a, a huge diverse group of people um from all over the world I would say the larger majority is women um, but you have really all different age groups and just, you know, all different kinds of people. Um, you have really, really nice people. You maybe have some really not nice people. And, and that's just a matter of your perspective and who you choose to, um, surround yourself with. Um, if you surround yourself with, um, joy and fun and happy people, then that's what you're gonna have joy and fun and happiness and you're gonna enjoy if you're surrounding yourself with people that are really really just so much enjoying the dolls and the art and one another and all that well that's what you'll have here it all is what you make of it the same as life and anywhere else in life it truly truly is all right, everyone. So if you enjoyed this video, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you go now and smash that subscribe button as well as hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also check out if you want to follow me on Instagram. I post pictures of Oscar and all the babies in my collection. There's always a link in the description below to follow me on Instagram. In addition, my channel does have an exclusive membership and you can click the blue join button next to subscribe or the link down below to check out more about that. Um, next video, I'm going to have an announcement to make. Uh, a friend of mine and fellow YouTuber is going to be having a giveaway coming up. Um, and I am going to be telling you all about it. Actually, for now, if you've still hung in here 34 minutes later, uh, make sure you go and that you are subscribed to Michelle's channel over at Shelby. I will put a link to her channel down below and stay tuned over there for what she has to announce. But you're all, you're not going to want to miss this. All right. It's definitely a great one. And I, as soon as she rolls out the, the information more than that, I will give you all the information here as well. But make sure, um, you're going to need to be subscribed over on her YouTube, so make sure you go and do that now. She is an amazing person. 
really fun to watch. Um, I don't have much time to watch um, any YouTube these days uh, with how busy life has, is going for me over here. Um, but she is one of the few channels that, um, well, she's a, a friend of mine. So, of course, you know, she's a close friend. But, you know, I just really, she brightens my day and I really, really enjoy um, watching her. She's a very creative um, person. And when you visit her channel, it's like you're sitting down. <clears throat> And having a cup of tea with her and that's what I like that that you know warm inviting um, feeling and interesting chats and all that good stuff and beautiful babies Oscar's cousins all right everyone I have totally chewed your ear off um, <laughs> to those of you that are still with me, thanks for hanging in here this long, and we will see you all next time. God bless.